Good ideas are like gold. They're valuable and hard to find. So how can you unlock your team's creativity? I'm going to take you through seven techniques and two bonus ideas next on ProjectSkillsMentor.com. Hi, I'm Liz, the Project Skills Mentor, and Einstein said it best. Imagination is everything. It's a preview of life's coming attractions, and thinking about the future is exactly the mindset you want when brainstorming. To get started, you need to prepare to be creative with three simple steps. First, make space to innovate. Make sure your team has what they need to feel comfortable, relaxed, and creative. Have refreshments, a mix of standing and sitting options, a table filled with writing, drawing, and building materials. Second, create the vibe. Inspire your team with a video or internal story of innovation success. Third, document the case for change and the innovation session. Make sure you don't miss any ideas or insights. Capture content in context through photos and video. When it comes to idea generation, use the right tool for your goal. Here are three approaches and seven techniques. And I've got two bonus ideas at the end, so stay tuned. Let's start with the first approach type, situational ideas. These require an understanding of the roles, environment, and people involved. Technique number one, a day in the life. Walk in somebody else's shoes to deeply understand their day. Build a storyboard or cartoon showing how their day works and the ideas to improve it. Key to this process is a deep understanding of the role and problem. The pro to this approach is that you have a high level of success if you focus on one job or role. The con can be the team gets buried in facts and is constrained in their idea generation. Technique number two, role play. Act out an idea using curious improvisation. The players work together using improv's yes principle. One player presents the story and the others accept the premise and add to it. Using props and moving around the room to add energy, the story comes to life. Key to this process is the ability to wonder and quickly accept and adapt someone else's input. The pro is that it's a very natural way for people to build ideas and understand different points of view. The con is that this is acting and some members may struggle with the ability to ad-lib the process. Technique number three, Storytelling. This is a technique with the goal to dream big. Your jumping off point may be starting with a few paragraphs from a children's story connected to your business conundrum. Three little pigs and quality control. Goldilocks, when a good fit matters. The Giving Tree, the story of customer service and loyalty. Read out a few paragraphs and then get your team started with their own topic. Let them take over. The goal is to create a free-flowing fantasy with extraordinary outcomes. Key to this process is picking the right story and explaining how storytelling works. See the link below for more on storytelling and a workbook that can help. Pro to this process is the double benefit of ideation plus story creation you can use to sell the idea later. The con is that the story needs to be tested for viability once you've come back from the fantastical process of storytelling. The next approaches I call rapid fire. They're meant to get into a create mode and counter the desire to self-edit. Technique number four, brainy balloon. Set the scene, create the goal, then write a keyword on a balloon and play catch with the idea players. With each catch, a one word stream of consciousness idea is blurted, immediately followed by a toss to the next player. The ideas can build on each other or stand alone. Key to this process is starting with a statement such as, life will be better when Sally has a... This gives the team additional focus. The pro is this can be a great icebreaker that loosens the team up. The con is that it takes some time for the team to get in the groove. Technique number five, inspired prototyping. Let the process of building take over for a moment. First, create a solution. Then, explain the use case and how the idea relates to the topic. The key here is to let the team start building immediately. The focus is on fun and no judgment. Pros to this process is that the team with critical skills and time to work can create several ideas in one session. The con is that the teams need to keep moving and not get stuck in details. The last ideation approach is systematic. These methods require planning, but the upside is that they can lead to big ideas, especially for technical and scientific tasks or where groups are working virtually. Technique number six. Idea Jam. Using fit for purpose collaboration tools or Zoom, moderators kick off the process with a series of questions or topics. Individuals self select which topic they'll work on and share related facts, context, and ideas with others. When an idea hits, a subgroup is formed to work the idea in a breakout room, which they bring back to the plenary session for further development and assessment. The key is to use an external team for the ideation management. This allows the moderators to focus on idea kickoff and incubation. Pros are multiple idea topics can be managed at one time to keep the energy high and spark creative joy.
The process is perfect when working across multiple time zones and increasing diversity, but there is a con too. Time zones can be challenging to manage. The biggest challenge, though, is getting the right moderators. They are key to keep the topics on track and the conversation going. Technique number seven, business case inspiration. Using a famous business case is a great way to get your team to think in terms of solutions instead of seeing only the problem. Start with the as-is business case, then replace their issue with your problem or product. Work through to resolution. The key is to pre-read the case so the innovation session can focus on the ideation step. The pro is that this can energize the team to learn from a heroic story and from a different industry. The con is that your team might become focused on unimportant details and lose the innovation vibe. Okay, that's the top seven idea generation techniques. Now for the two bonus ideas. Social sourcing. Social media is pervasive today, and while it needs special care when interacting directly with your customer base or community, it can be a fantastic way to generate ideas. The key is to get help from the marketing and communications teams, because once you ask your community, you'll need to give them both feedback and follow-up. You'll need to show them that you were listening, that you heard them, and that you acted on at least one of their ideas. The pros are you get to go right to the source, so you're likely to get a high-value idea. The con includes the public nature of the discussion. Be aware that your community can include competitors, so this may not be the place you want to share intellectual property. The next idea, idea generation tools, made to capture, collect, and consolidate ideas in a systematic way. These tools can also be used to look for conceptual collisions. The idea is to land on a tool that's both easy to use and is evergreen, since these are ideas you may want to come back to time and again. Assign a team member to manage the tool and to keep it current and usable. The pro is that this is a fast-growing method for managing ideas for the long term. The con is that this is not idea generation per se. It is an idea management tool, so you need to give time to learn the tool and understand how to data mine the ideas once collected. So that's it, my nine idea generation techniques. If you want more details or examples, see the links below for workshops and storytelling guides. And if you found this information useful, please give this video a like and subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.